Any great painting first begins with an idea. And after the idea comes the sketch. Every great landscape painting starts with both of these, the sketch being the line, the composition, the shape arrangement of the idea. These practical principles create a wonderful composition to where we can show how beautiful a landscape scene can be. Here I am using yellow ochre and a Q-tip as well as a brush to sketch in my idea. The color layer always comes next in any good oil painting. It goes on top of the sketch layer. Here I'm using ultramarine blue and a little quinacridone magenta to illustrate a beautiful heavy cloud. You also need sky holes. The sky can't be full of clouds. It has to have a little bit of breathing room. <laughs> we call them sky holes in painting. But I'm just laying in the big basic shapes. Those tiny details don't go in so early. You need the big shape pattern, those value masses of color, to perceive a generalized view of the sky before we jump into the details. I love, love landscape because there's a true connection that people have to where they live, the land, the water, the skies. Um, each of us has our own little locality to what we're drawn to and what we see every day. I aim to show my Gulf Coast in a way that is beautiful on my canvas. And I hope that I can do that for you too, wherever you happen to be. My newest online course, Dynamic Clouds and Landscapes, begins very soon. You can find out more on my website, catpope.com, but we'll be going four weeks straight through compositional techniques, building volume, perceived and implied texture, color harmony, building that depth, turning that 2D surface into an implied 3D scene. It's a trick. There are some great techniques I can show you with brushwork and styling, as well as palette knife techniques, so I really hope you'll check into it. Each week for the four weeks, we'll have a mini challenge as well as a long format demo in real time where I take you step by step through each lesson's goal. I hope you can join us. I'm really excited to bring it forth. It's going to be a dynamite course. So at this time, I'm using small descriptive marks in little shapes to iron out the details in the water, the reflections, the shadows from the grasses, all of those important things that further describe the scene without altering the overall value pattern and composition. Most often in painting, it's those tiny descriptive marks that go on last, but they make the biggest impact. Here's the final image. I'm really pleased. You can find more about the course at my website, catpope.com.